The impact of AIDS on children and young people is enormous. Globally, 2.3 million children under 15 are living with HIV. More than 16 million children under 18 have lost one or both parents. And every day, more than 4,000 young people, aged between 15 and 24, become infected with HIV. But now, key partnerships are forming to help stop the spread of HIV. For this year's ICC Cricket World Cup, the International Cricket Council has teamed up with UNAIDS, UNICEF and the Caribbean Broadcast Media Partnership to highlight the situation of children and young people living with and affected by AIDS. With this focus on AIDS, the Cricket World Cup and its stars will be hitting a new and significant boundary in the response to AIDS. Unite for children, unite against AIDS. Through high-profile activities around cricket's biggest event, the ICC will support the Unite for Children, Unite Against AIDS campaign, launched at the United Nations in 2005 by UNICEF, UNAIDS, and many other partners. The Caribbean Broadcast Media Partnership have also launched Live Up, the first media-led multi-platform campaign on HIV-AIDS here in the Caribbean, the second most affected region after Sub-Saharan Africa. As the top teams of the world do battle over the next seven weeks, they will also be united in inspiring cricket fans to join them in fighting HIV and AIDS. Here to perform a special song commissioned by UNAIDS and UNICEF, please welcome Ashe.
exuberance and energy from Ashe. As always, they've been using entertainment to encourage social change. The ICC Cricket World Cup was held four years ago in South Africa as the torch is passed to the West Indies.